Anyway, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, and we're here at the uh, X Bank of America building here at 555 California in San Francisco. Uh, I'm so glad you can join us. Sorry about that drop. Somebody just tried to call me, uh, so I had to start all over again. And uh, we'll do an interview with some people that are here in a minute. And we've got a little crowd here of about 30 people. It's kind of small right now, but uh, it will be growing, I'm sure. Um, this event was organized by Local 2 Unite Here, which uh, represents hotel and restaurant workers in San Francisco. And we're out here protesting Donald Trump, uh, the uh, presidential candidate. Uh, you know, what, what more can be said about this, this fascist nutcase? That's all I can tell you. You know, the guy... He does business, he, he stiffs everybody that is all of his workers. So if you're working for Donald Trump, to be quite honest, one of Trump's things, if you can find another job, find another job. All right, we're going to move a little closer to the protest here. here. So I hope you'd like to let me know how the live stream is going along. If you'd like to log on to the chat and ask me questions or you have any comments that you would like to make, that would be most appreciated. And again, so glad you're watching. It will be here until approximately 5.30. And if the stream happens to go down, in the middle of the stream, uh, stick with me because I will announce when I'm going to end the live stream. So if I don't say that it's over, it's not over. So yeah, we got more and more people that are showing up. Uh, we need you to come out, you know, and, and please, please, do not vote for Donald Trump. I know that you might think that he's better than Hillary Clinton and and all that, but, you know, I don't ask you to vote for Hillary. Um, try to consider maybe one of the third-party candidates or uh, just don't vote for president at all. But please do not vote for Donald Trump. The man is a menace. I guess we got a crowd of about 30 people here right now. Uh, we're out here uh, boycotting Trump. Um, he uh, has a hotel in Los Angeles, and he refuses to uh, let the rest of the workers in the hotel unionize. And that's why the reason why we're out here, one of the reasons. Uh, me, personally, is I can't stand Donald Trump. And I urge you, you can vote for anybody else, but please do not vote for Donald Trump. And usually most of my viewers know that we probably won't be voting in that direction, but uh, I'm just going to say it anyway.
go. Here's a flyer with most of the information on it. Thank you very much. So we're out here for to boycott Donald Trump. Boycott him in the elections. Boycott all of his businesses, which he owns quite a few, or he's stolen quite a few businesses. We're so glad to debate the other night that he demonstrated to the American public what a loose cannon he really is. He's a racist. He's a xenophobe. He's a homophobe. He's sexist. I mean, he's a he's a deplorable human being. That's all we can say about Donald Trump. And for those of you who just joined us, we're down here at. 555 California here in San Francisco at the ex Bank of America building. And we're asking people to boycott this building at 555. So if you uh, can conduct business in another place, please go there and don't use 555 California. And I've always hated this building anyway. So uh, this represents pretty much all the evils of capitalism unleashed. Uh, this building has been known to be like it, the capitalist. I mean, it was it used to be Bank of America, so you take it from there. Uh, we were happy to hear that uh, Wells Fargo CEO uh, Trump, Trump, right? Another, uh, another fascist. Uh, he's uh, he was grilled in Washington D.C. today for all the uh, Wells Fargo theft. So we're happy to see that. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Maybe the tide is changing. Maybe they're going to jail some of the bankers for fraud and and theft and and Donald Trump's a part of all that. Man doesn't like to pay his bills. Oh, this is just a general Trump protest there, UK. And thanks for watching. Treat your workers like you should. Hey, Trump, you're no good. Treat your workers like you should. Donald Trump, you're no good. Treat your workers like you should. Hey, Trump, you're no good. It looks like we have about 40 people here now. Protest is growing. We're down here at 555 California. A demonstration organized by Unite Here, which represents hotel and restaurant workers across the country. And this is in solidarity with the uh, hotel and restaurant workers in Las Vegas. Where Donald Trump's corporations refuse to uh, negotiate with people that are trying to form a union. Yeah, nice little picket line going. Here you go. Here you go. Thanks. I didn't either. I, 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 I like. I used to keep up with the history of this building, but after Shorenstein sold it, that was the last person I knew about. So we got a little more information here. Okay. Um, it says here on the flyer that the uh, law says Mr. Trump must negotiate with Las Vegas hotel workers who want a union election. Culinary Workers Union, and uh, so that 
Mr. Trump honors his duty to bargain. Unite Here calls for a boycott of as many businesses Mr. Trump owns, has invested in, or has a partner with. And this flyer was put out by the Culinary Workers Union in Las Vegas. So we need to support our union workers because it's one of the few organizations that we have which will protect your rights. I don't care if you don't like unions or whatever, you think they're corrupt or whatever, but in the long run, the unions do end up protecting workers' rights. I was part of the uh, fight for 15 in the early when it first started. I covered the very first fight for 15 demonstration in New York back in 2012. So that was a really great thing. Um, we have a, well it should be a, a $15 an hour minimum wage here in San Francisco. Uh, we have it in Oakland, uh, Berkeley, and it's something that's spread like wildfire across the country. So please support your workers around the country. Yeah, his campaign is paying his businesses. You know, this is a guy that hasn't spent a dime on any campaign, uh, you know, literature or anything like that. Uh, pretty much he was getting a free pass from the news media, but even the news media, after this little debacle he had at his hotel, that he opened up in Washington, D.C., where he had this fake news conference, and the news media was outraged. So maybe the news media is going to turn on Trump. You know, but they do make hell of money off of him. So. chilly out here. You never believe it. It's, you know, it's September 30th or 29th. And, uh, and you know, you'd think it'd be warm here in the Bay Area, but it's like 55 degrees and the wind's blowing at about 25 miles an hour. So, uh, you know, if you ever come out to San Francisco, make sure you bring a jacket uh, for all those people that are not, not familiar with our weather here in the Bay Area. Okay, a little more background on this protest. Uh, just a second. On March 21st, 20, 2016, local joint executive board of Las Vegas was certified as a collective bargaining agent on behalf of the employees of Trump Las Vegas. In an 